Yeah, you can start. Earlier this week, over 121 people died in Hathras in Uttar Pradesh because of a stampede after a religious event. Since then, the Uttar Pradesh government has constituted a committee to investigate possible lapses in the matter. A PIL is before the Supreme Court as well to investigate lapses in that matter. But does it really need such a massive investigation or are the lapses glaring for anyone who knows the process right now? Joining me at this point is uh, Vikram Singh. He's the former Director General of Police of Uttar Pradesh. He's now a teacher uh, after he retired. But Mr. Singh has written a very insightful article in uh, the Indian Express where he talks about the lapses. Mr. Singh, first of all, um, this we understand that the organizers of the Hathras event had asked for permission to allow 80,000 people to gather. My understanding is in the recent election, the prime minister's rallies pulled, you know, numbers of that kind. What sort of process should have been in place already for 80,000 people to get together in one place? Thank you, Faye. Good afternoon. And thank you for allowing me on your show, your prestigious channel. That's a question that everybody needs to answer, but the silence is deafening. There is a well laid out protocol that is more than 150 years old that requires certain formalities at the police level, beginning from the police outpost, at the intelligence level, and at the level of the magistracy. An application is made by the organizers and it is sent to the district administration and to the local police station who gives and understands the antecedents of the organizers and those who want the permission. If the antecedents are okay, then there are important documents with the local intelligence unit known as the LIU and the police station, which is known as the festival register and the Teoha register. It is a permanent register and incorporates all details of all processions, collections, gatherings, religious festivals, and if there was a problem and the force deployed in earlier such occasions. And that document is priceless because it dates back, it's a permanent record and you can access details of almost 100 years. And then you go to the uh, local intelligence unit who will identify the criminal antecedents of the organizers and if there are any cases pending against them. It is almost a study that would require eight to 10 hours of collection of intelligence, search, surfing the net, putting the act together and sending a report whether this man deserves to be given the permission or not. And what could be the anticipated crowd there? Yeah. You almost can say that the report is almost the SWOT analysis of the application, the strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats that may emerge from this. And after getting the, they apply expected crowds. You would read the dichotomy between the expected crowds of the applicant and the actually that actually turned up 80,000 to 250. Now, such processions or such gatherings where you get an offering from the devotees, as in this case, you're supposed to make payment for the police arrangements because you are in any case making profits. So the state is not in a position to make way for all such organizations. Therefore, a cost has to be deposited in advance to the treasury. Therefore, it was a saving and a very smart move on part of the organizers to underplay the numbers so that instead of paying maybe a couple of lakhs, they got away by paying around say 25,000, if at all they paid, if at all they paid. And it was must have been a mutual understanding. They gave on trust, as they say in the police language, by mm -hmm. amne de diya. There's nothing like trust. In, in God we trust, others strictly cash. But that was misplaced trust, yes. yes. Mr. Singh, so you're saying that a written application has to go to the uh, district magistrate or the subdivisional district magistrate, the SDM. That application will then be forwarded to the SHOs of the various police stations in that neighborhood who will then do their own research, respond, and the SDM then grants permission based on the personnel that's available that needs to be allotted and the ad arrangement that needs to be done. If you were tasked with investigating into this matter, Mr. Singh, would you expect to find all of these documents in the SDM's office? Do you think that process I have was my, possible? I have my serious reservation. I would like to find them at the, the SDM's office, the SO's report, the intelligence report, because these three ingredients are essential before, and then it's a speaking order. Like I, Vikram Singh, subdivisional magistrate, Atras, have received a report from Station House Officer Kotwali Atras stating 
that uh, Dhongi Baba wants to conduct a congregation on this date from this and this period and having perused the report of the intelligence which says that he's an innocuous person, there are no criminal antecedents, I, SDM Vikram Singh hereby, order him that the collection will be made, he will cooperate with the district authorities, provide all of our relevant material to the local police and the intelligence when summoned and also cooperate with the district police, ensure that his followers give an appeal, will not come armed, will behave in an orderly manner and yes. this is a speaking order under one, earlier 144 CRPC. Mr. Singh, we understand that there were 70 police officers assigned to this event where the police was expecting 80,000 people. That's more than a thousand people per police officer. It's another thing that two and a half lakh actually showed up. But do you think here that the police was underprepared and they didn't react to the crowd that was swelling up? Preparation as a word is a myth. And what happened, the tragedies and the avoidable tragedy that happened at Hathras. There was no preparation and we were caught on the wrong foot throughout. First, let us go to the allotment of the site. The site is just next to a national highway, knowing fully well, even if it were to be 80,000, hundreds and thousands of cars and automobiles would come and block the national highway, creating traffic jams of the worst kind, and which exactly did happen. Here. Therefore, the allotment of land in itself is questionable. And therefore, as you very rightly mentioned, the deployment of the police personnel also was absolutely, absolutely, absolutely low. And they should have, and there are so many things we could discuss in the course of what needs to be done in such congregation. And nothing like that was done on ground. Uh, we also understand from, from the article that you wrote, Mr. Singh, that for 80,000 people or even two and a half lakh people to arrive, they wouldn't have they wouldn't have showed up in half an hour and it's possible that the police control room would have known but they still haven't reacted or made the contingency plan to be prepared for that event when ignorance is bliss is folly to be wise faith you should be prepared and anticipate and nothing you should never be caught off guard be prepared for a worst case scenario and there's a document in every district of india internal security scheme Antarik Suraksha Yojana, which incorporates every possible mishap that can possibly happen and every person in the district, starting from the district magistrate to the superintendent, down to the constable, everybody's duty is assigned, who will do what? As you very rightly mentioned, that two and a half lakh people, it takes hours, if not days, to have a gathering like that. Then there are two or three agencies that are tasked to watch every situation, who have the fingers on the pulse and know who is arriving from where, which channel is working, which channel is not working, and to the contrary, grade in three categories, red, yellow, and green. Green is all clear. Yellow is where the crowd is swelling, and red is where there's absolute choking. There's almost like a running commentary in the city control room that so many people have arrived. We require traffic police constables, water tankers to be done up here, barricades here, exit and entry routes, CCTV to be in position, and also drones if required, because anything above one lakh would also require, we have the facility, so why not use the drone facility as well? But I believe that uh, the cattle are grazing, the heads never raising, all's right with the world. When I have a sense of complacency that nothing is going to happen, some guardian angel will come and save and organize the festival, well, the lesser the better. But Mr. Singh, finally, I mean, the, there are lots of questions to be asked as to why there was only one exit, why the ground was not leveled, why carpeting was not put so that people don't slip on the mud. But fundamentally, I think it boils down to this. There would be an expectation that, oh, this is rural India and they're not aware of the process. But my understanding is we've just completed a very hectic election period where everyone across the country has actually had to look after very large gatherings of people for the elections. So is it, where, where do you think the lapse was here? Was it the lack of understanding of process? Were they just lazy or was someone making money? I will tell you that you really have to try very hard to bungle up like this. You had all the Ardhukums doing well, all the Kumbhelas going well, the Kawar Mela going, uh, doing uh, well, the Muharram passing off peacefully, the state assembly and the parliament passing off peacefully. It's like, stopping the MSc examination and failing in kindergarten and class two. It is as simple as that. You really have to try very hard to bungle up like this. There is a system of SOP that you need to have placed on ground whenever you have a rehearsal. You see the rehearsal and see where the weaknesses are. 
ensure that the entry exit staggering of crowds this is all implemented and today i can tell you that those smart ips and is officers they have what is known as artificial intelligence animation and i would like through your channel to at least do this now have an app do have some kind of a replica on artificial intelligence so that you know the actual the pitfalls the slopes the upright the traffic jam areas the sensitive areas the not so sensitive areas where would you place the women police the ambulances everything is graphically represented then you have the animation of the crowd swelling say from 80000 to 2.5 lakhs as even 5 lakhs what do you do after that and then what you had in the earlier days the sand models the sand models on the table that's not required the animations in the it ai give you the exact replica of what is likely to happen and the worst case scenario and normal and the deployment to the last man can be depicted on this ai model so that and i do hope if the ies and ips officers are listening please do this to yourself and ensure from the so right upwards you have the artificial intelligence enabled animation system so that the simulation exercises tell every constable where you are standing where is the emergency outlet and one or two exits there should be a green corridor for medical emergencies every medical primary health center hospital they should be identified and so that when you have the animation share it with every constable you know what is going to happen in any case you used to issue elaborate orders then elaborate orders were issued in writing but you should issue those like but an animation exercise through a wonderful app this is possible and the officers who are it savvy they are doing it also it is not child's play get it done in for future courses but the rehearsal did not happen to begin with elaborate orders were not then the duties that are given they are briefed in one go that these are the pitfalls then the debriefing happens i spoke for one hour now have you understood then somebody is asked to repeat what instructions have been given ab tak hi batai gayi baaton mein koi shak unka koi shak nahi saab to ab aap khade ho jaiye inspector dhruv singh ab batai maine ab tak kya kaha if dhruv singh inspector is able to repeat all the instructions clearly he gets a reward of 500 rupees if dhruv singh say that he was probably day dreaming and was uh, had switched off mentally during the kutub briefing then he's punished also getting the warning on personal file that he was sleeping during the course of the the briefing so these are the checks and balances to ensure that everybody is focused and attentive and knows what, what his job is if i know it's sultry i know it's hot i know it's humid it's it but you are supposed to be men and women of steel and it is you are paid for this to face these adversities of weather and give a best account of yourself but that now nothing like that and when did all the arrangements crumble down like a house of cards then you had everybody started reciting their prayers what mm. nothing around reciting prayers but it is expected that you come out and give a helping hand nothing like this happened people were rushed people were rushed on thelas on uh, shoulders on rickshaws and whatever means were available the hospitals were even worse no medical facilities what the name was available to them what can i say mr singh um we've had the the chief minister of uttar pradesh mr yogi adityanath suggest the possibility of a conspiracy against the state that is behind this event um undoubtedly the people who organized this event this baba in question need to be arrested and investigated but the suggestion of a conspiracy is that an attempt to maybe take the spotlight away from the state administration that has also similarly failed and deserves to be investigated as well absolutely if there's a conspiracy even then what was the administration doing in the first place well, i have challenged anyway if you are born of your parents try the conspiracy that will be the last conspiracy you attempt in your lifetime i will see to that you and your conspiracies are buried 20 feet under the ground the administration is supposed to be watchful and alert 24 by 7 and it was in my challenge let if there is a conspirator of an international level let him try his monkey tricks in front of me and see what we do to him the administration is supposed to be equal to the task of neutralizing any such conspiracy like conspiracy now the question is a conspiracy possible is there a need for a conspiracy if at all there is a conspiracy who will benefit conspiracies have happened earlier also and in a very insidious and a very nefarious manner purpose why political advantage and to molain the party in power how was it done in earlier times when you have the mounted police you did have mounted police to have a better view of the gathering and better control when the when the cctvs were not there so some smart person would take out a cigarette light it mm. start smoking and push cigarette lighted but on the horse the horse will buck 
and stand on the two hind legs and the, the police officer would fall down. Then there will be total chaos. Yeah. Other smart people developed it into a fine art would take deadly black scorpions in tin boxes and snakes. Somebody would open the box of worm, worms when I say read scorpions and somebody open the box of snakes. And you can well imagine in a gathering of 100,000, if snakes and scorpions are let loose, what's going to happen? These are real life examples. And why was it done? To malign the government in power and also to bring destitute to them. But with technology, with people, with artificial facial recognition software, AI, these are the tools that you can use to ensure that nobody is carrying any tiffin boxes or anything or anything that is suspicious. There should be a system of checking, analyzing, and suspicious activity reporting system that is known as SARS. Any person who appears suspicious, technology gives you the advantage that he is a jailbird, he has gone to jail, and he can be identified. So those in a gathering of one lakh, if you are able to check even 500 to 1,000 people, I think that will be a major deterrent to ensure that nobody is carrying objectionable things. I think fundamentally what you're saying to us, Mr. Singh, is that whether conspiracy or not, what is obvious is that the administration has failed desperately on multiple counts in this event. Obviously, the buck stops at the table of the superintendent of police and the district magistrate. How can they wash their hands off the case so easily? And nobody said that. The responsibility and the buck stops at the table, the jolly well should have ensured this, this innocuous gathering of bhats and the congregation should have passed off peacefully. But the planning itself was, in fact, there was no planning. Allotting the piece of land for the congregation next to the national highway, uncalled for. Then having no proper rehearsal and under deployment of the police force, flaw number two. Then the follow up and the medical treatment and the arrest also was staggered and delayed. So I don't see where, in, in whatever manner, can I compliment the district administration with coming out, not to talk of flying colors, even coming out with pass marks. Mr. Singh, could it be also that since the preacher in question, the Baba in question, and the entire, most of the congregation are members of the scheduled caste or the oppressed caste, that it was likely the administration did not take them seriously, did not feel the need to put in the effort that they would have normally done uh, for, for an event of this size? No, no. Being of the backward community, the drive classes, they would require a more, more magnanimous and careful treatment because anything could have possibly happened and brought bad name, in which any case it brought a bad name to the government and to the administration. Therefore, I would not say it is because of the fact that the majority of the followers belong to the backward and to the depressed classes, the weaker sections of society. But I would say that because it was a religious congregation and therefore, since as they claim that they did not apprehend any danger in the congregation, therefore, it was not held in a manner with that level of priority in which it should have been given, which should have been the top one. Any congregation that is more than 10,000 needs to be given the topmost priority. And here, the, the organizers saying it is 80,000, swelling up to 2.5 lakhs in about seven to eight hours. I feel that they should have not only reinforced, but the senior most officers should have been present at the site itself. All the more reason, I would say, that since they become to the weak and the backwards and the, uh, deprived sections of society, all the more reason that the administration should have been extra careful. All right, Mr. Singh, thank you so much for speaking with me and giving me your time. It has been a pleasure, as always, uh, to sit down and talk with you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Faye. God bless you. Thank you. Okay, done. Huh? No cuts, you cannot. So